The Ontario Chinese Artists Association, or OCAA, was established in 1979 in order to provide a meeting place for artists and to promote local and international art events. Its first location was on Lippincott Street in downtown Toronto. In 1982, OCAA was registered as a non-profit organization. The first permanent gallery was purchased in 1996 with a generous grant from the Ontario government. It was located near the Art Gallery of Ontario in downtown Toronto. Due to urban sprawl, it moved yet again to its current location at Midland Avenue on the edge of Scarborough and Markham. Each year, OCAA curates more than 30 art exhibits and provides a workshop space for local artists and learners alike. At present, OCAA has over 400 members. Many are immigrants. They come from all walks of life. Some are engineers, some are teachers, some are poets, some are accountants. They gather at OCAA while coming from different artistic backgrounds They share the same passion in the arts. Chinese arts come in many different flavors. These are some of the artwork by our members. For many Chinese artists, their training may begin with the use of a brush. And the brush strokes became the basic building block for both language and painting. Individual brush strokes can be used to express lines, shapes, and the reflection of light. The use of strokes happens to be a feature of the Chinese writing system as well, to express a sound, a shape, or a concept. This is a feature unique in Chinese culture not shared by many other cultures. Because the brush strokes are often used as an artistic building block, there is much room for common ground building and intercultural exchange. For our artists, many use it as a bridge for other techniques or subject matters. Of course, some employ the Western techniques entirely. Being in Canada provides the fertile environment for that. Like the artists in the show, many of our members are seniors, and yet they don't let their age reduce the vitality of the tradition or the passion. OCAA considers it an important role to pass on the Chinese traditions along with the passion and the arts to the next generation and to the Canadian public. The artistic endeavor often begins with a spark on the artist's mind. It is an impression, a feeling, something burning that compels the artist to put colors on paper, to mold materials into shapes. That color, that stroke, that shape, the spark lifts on. When the time is right, the spark turns into a fire that burns bright in the viewer's mind. It is momentous that this year is the 150th birthday of Canada. We Canadians pride ourselves in the colorful cultural mosaic. Upon this mosaic, the artistic spark crosses the line between cultures, countries, and traditions. This spark transcends not only cultural lines, but also the separation of time between past present and future, for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you for your generous support for OCAA, and we hope you enjoy the show.